insurance website must be mobile friendly. Okay, I'm telling you, in 2019, you have got to make sure that your website and your contact information and the way that the public's gonna interact with your brand and get in touch with you online is mobile friendly. Okay, let me prove it to you. One of our clients is a Medicare uh, Supplement Advantage client. Um, even with the older demographic, you know, 64 and up, et cetera, for the Medicare uh, market, the mobile friendly traffic, I'm sorry, the mobile traffic that's going to his site is still 65% of all of his traffic. 45% is desktop, okay? So that doesn't even account if you're not specifically focused on the Medicare um, business. It skews even more and more towards mobile friendly the, the younger the demographic goes, obviously. Now, what does mobile friendly mean? Well, mobile friendly really just means making sure that the experience on your mobile phone is, um, you know, excellent, right? So it doesn't look like a little tiny shrinked window of your website. It's got to be an actual mobile site. Uh, websites now uh, should come standard mobile friendly. You shouldn't have to pay extra for that. Um, everybody should kind of be already moving towards that direction. If you haven't redone your website in three or four or five years, you might want to look at it. You can go to mobilefriendlytest.com or whatever. Just search that in Google and you can tell if your website's mobile friendly or not. Um, can't overemphasize enough how important it is to make sure your website's mobile friendly.